Lu Shilmu, and welcome to the world that was. Today, we'll be going back to Babylon and taking a look at a recipe from the Yale Cuneiform collection. This recipe seems to be intended for the poorer members of Babylonian society, or possibly something that was even eaten during times of famine or war, a simple turnip and onion stew. Turnips do not appear to be eaten very frequently in Babylonian cuisine and were seemingly seen as a last resort to them. In any case, let's take a look at the world that was. To begin with, pour a small amount of olive oil or butter into a pot and put this over a medium-high heat until the oil starts to shimmer. Then, we need to thinly dice an onion, or slice it into thin slices like I'm doing here. I'm going to be using a red onion here because the colour of the onion will add a bit of vibrancy to an otherwise very bland and pale looking dish, but it's up to you. In any case, go toss this into the pot when the oil starts to shimmer. Make sure to absentmindedly splash hot oil all over your freshly laundered tablecloth too. Stir this around and then cover it all with a lid. Let your onions steam for about 5 to 10 minutes, nor until they turn slightly translucent at the edges. When your onions have turned translucent, go pour on some water, or in my case, vegetable stock into your pot. Bring the whole thing to a rolling boil over a medium-high heat. While your pot's coming to a boil, go peel and shred your turnip. Depending on the size and age of your turnip, this could be easier or harder than what you're witnessing on screen now. Your average Babylonian probably didn't have a box shredder, so you could easily just thinly slice these and dice your turnip into small pieces. We just want everything to be roughly the same size whenever it's cooking. Toss your shredded turnip into the pot whenever it hits a rolling boil. Stir everything around to combine. At this point you can also add some ground coriander to add a little bit of zestiness to the dish. Put this pot back onto a medium-high heat until it hits a rolling boil again. When it hits a boil, turn the heat down to low and let it simmer away for about 10 or 15 minutes. While your pot of soup is simmering away, go chop up your rocket or arugula by bunching it up into a small ball and chopping it like so. Do the same to your parsley, or cilantro if it doesn't taste like soap to you, and put these aside for later. When your turnips have softened after about 15 minutes, go mix in your minced herbs. Serve up your soup in a very small bowl and garnish with a sprig of parsley or cilantro. If you want to pretty it up, you can scatter a few coriander seeds over the top. The finished dish is delicious and very filling, thanks to the turnips. The herbs really improve the overall taste, although the extent of their use in the Bronze Age is relatively unknown. It's likely that the middle and upper classes would have been able to afford them, based on Hellenistic period accounts of these dishes. The whole thing takes about a half hour to make and is very simple, requiring only a few ingredients and relatively little preparation. It is possible that dishes like these would have fed the poorer populations of Babylonian society outside of feast days for much of the year. Given that turnips appear to have not really been favoured by the Babylonian elite, they seem to prefer beetroot, like the tuhi stew from a few weeks ago, may have been seen as a subsistence vegetable for the wider population. I hope you all enjoyed this look at the world that was, and I hope to see you all next week. <laughs>